Today I'm going to show you guys uh, 15 tips and tricks on how to improve your Minecraft world, make it more aesthetically pleasing, and just improve builds and make people want to uh, walk around and actually look at the stuff that you make. Alright, first up we got adding like garden flower beds around your world. This will just really help bring like, I guess, pop into your world. It, it just gives it a lot of color. Um, so I laid out uh, five examples here for you guys. Um, this one, it, it's, it's simple, but it's just really, you're trying to get color, um, new ideas, just something going to kind of make, make your world look a little better. So I'll go through and show you guys uh, these examples. This one I like. Um, you can change it up a bit. It's like trying to use uh, chiseled stone brick. That's a really good block to use when you're like working with water and just flower beds. So I recommend using that. This one's probably my favorite. It's just like a little pattern design. When you do stuff like this, like adding like um, patterns and uh, like lots of different flowers, it, it just makes it look really nice. And then you can also do something like this. Um, like using blue, white, purple, red. It just a bunch of different colors really just will help and make your like builds just kind of pop out. So this would be good to put um, maybe like in front of like a castle or um, I guess just areas around your world that are kind of just lacking and are looking more like this. Um, so you can put this in front of builds, houses, whatever. Really just anything to make this look better. And then, um, so for me, I, I did, I did uh, garden design similar to this in front of um, a chalet that I'm building. And I'll uh, put an example up now. Alright, next up we got uh, some simple roof designs. I just laid out five. There's uh, obviously hundreds more that you can use. And I was going to show some examples with them as well. So the first one, we just have a standard um, there's spruce, uh, spruce wood connecting up. And I'm, I use spruce wood for all these examples. You guys can use whatever block. Um, so I'll show an example here. And then the next one, I have a um, stair, uh, half stair, half slab going up. This one I really like using because it, it adds a, just a lot of like little detail and um, how it just connects up. So once you like get a good build that'll connect with, <clears throat> I definitely recommend using this one. This one I say is probably the least one that I use, but it still is nice to get in there every once in a while. Um, it's just a straight slab up. Like I said, I don't really use it a lot, but here's an example. The next one we got is, um, I'm sure you guys have seen this as well, I, I use this only a couple times. It's not a bad roof design. It's used a lot with medieval builds, but honestly, I, I don't like using it too much because it just makes your roofs look a lot bigger. But having a, f a few of these roofs around your uh, like world like every now and then can really like make it pop. It, it, it does draw attention to it, so make sure when you guys do use this roof that it's on, on a house that you'll like, uh, you want to draw attention to. You're going to want people to see it. And the next one we got is this roof. I actually just added this in. I, I thought of it off the fly. Um, I actually have not built any of these in my world, but I do want to try and use this for a uh, build because I really like how this looks, and I think it can definitely add a lot of detail. The The main thing with like all these different roofs is try adding them all into your world or just like a certain area that you're working on because when you just use one or like the same like copy and paste roof all around it it gets like a little bland it gets um outdated um another another roof design that I didn't add here cuz it's kind of complicated too but you can do like diagonal roofs which I'll uh, I'll an example of one of my that I did on my world all right next up I uh, did a little area back here and I'll show more on uh, my world but just using like leaves, trees, and then what I like to do is I add like lanterns in. So if you're playing on survival, uh, it keeps mobs away. And then also just bone meal. It when you have like a really just bland area of just grass, it I mean it's not really really pleasing. But when you add something in like this, it just makes it pop more. 
and when you're walking by you, you enjoy like what you're looking at it's, you're not just looking at like a blank scenery kind of like this so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into my uh, Minecraft world that I play on and I'm gonna show you guys um, some things that I did like this alright to start out with uh, this area used to just be like a blank plot there was nothing it was just straight glass grassland and uh, me and my friend came in and we added just a little pathway with like benches made, made it kind of like a small little park and as you can see I added a lot of detail in the trees all the flowers that I used and down here uh, little leaf blocks so there's uh, lanterns down there which adds light in because we this is a survivor world and it it just adds cool like aspects and things to your world that um, is a uh, Definitely, gonna, it just makes it pop. Like when I'm walking around here, I, I enjoy walking around the scenery. It doesn't look super bland to where like I, I'm not enjoying it. It makes me like want to look around and focus on more than uh, just one thing. Another example is adding uh, wheat fields in front of your houses. Right here, I made uh, like some like a little scarecrows with just like a wheat field right outside this house. It just adds some detail, like walking through instead of this just being all like a straight pathway. Um, I got some flowers around, and then back here, just a little flower bed. So instead of it just being a little alley through the uh, houses, it just it just adds something into it. Um, and what what I did here is I added a oak leaf archway. Um, when just like walking in between this um, kind of alley of the houses, it just adds in just detail that like you look around at everything while you're going by, and just really helps to the aspect of things. Um, same thing with over here, I made a little marketplace to just connect the roads up between um, streets and it, it's just, it looks better when you're, I'm walking through instead of just having just this, the plain walkway. Like over here, I'm, st I'm still working on this area, it's just, it's just a plain walkway that leads to the back of here, but when I'm walking through here, it's more of like a aesthetically pleasing. Alright, so the next example is um, adding like little like I guess Easter eggs or just cool little um, details that you wouldn't look out for. Um, so for this one, this is a diagonal house that I built and I had a lot of empty space back here. Or not even a lot, but just a small little area from the uh, where the house ended and where it connects up to my wall. And I just added like a little chicken coop area. Um, just adding a bunch of detail in um, how it just connects up and it just makes it, just, it, it just looks more cozy. And something that you'll want to um, walk around, and it'll you'll want to look at it. And then uh, back here, I did same thing, a little area of space. But instead of just having nothing here, I did like a little flower walk through. You can either go uh, and exit out or continue on um, up. All right, the last example is going to be this uh, new area that I've been working on. Um, I recently have, uh, have been building here. It's just, when you walk around, see, you can see it's night out, but all the lanterns, this is what I'm talking about, like, kind of, like, making stuff pop, um, is just utilizing all these lanterns. Like, when I walk through and I'm looking in here, there's so much detail that you can see, like, having, like, little stone, um, like, boulders, uh, buttons on the ground, uh, you know, represent, like, pebbles, um, utilizing all these flowers, like, different colors, um, a little wheat field. Um, and then all just placing all this just right in front of the house. And then we continue on. Um, this is just a little chest room that I built. And then once again, continuing on with all the detail as I go up. This is a little hobbit hole. Adding and things like this, like when you have like hills and stuff, building on hills like this, just it just adds like little detail in. Um, and I got a quarry down here. Um, so like I said, I'm still working on this area, but you guys can see the, just the detail that you can go in and add and how much better it looks. Like an area, when I look over here, it just looks really plain and not like, you know, pleasing when I walk through. But when I go back, um, even though it's dark out, everything's lit up, it pops out to me. I, I like, I want to look at it.